Welcome to Sunday School with Mrs. Saboro. Now, before delving into our lesson today, I'd like to ask us a question. Yes, a short quiz. Are we ready? Let's view. Which of these was first a disciple of John before being called by Jesus? Now, which of the people I'm going to call up, which of them was first John the Baptist's um, um, disciple uh, before being called by Jesus? Now, let's view the names. James, John, Simon, Andrew. Which of these... Hmm, are you thinking? Have you got the answer? Okay, let's view. Andrew. Remember, Andrew and another disciple of John the Baptist were with him the time John testified about Jesus being the Lamb of God. You remember that Sunday's reading? Yes. So Andrew was first with John the Baptist before he was called by Jesus. All right, let's go into what we have today. Now, today is the third Sunday of Ordinary Time, uh-huh, and in the Gospel reading from Mark chapter 1, verses 14 to 20, we read that Jesus called this same Andrew and his brother Simon, or Peter, remember, his name was changed to Peter by Jesus. Now, Jesus called them, and he said to them, come, follow me, okay? All right. Now let's watch the short illustration of the gospel reading and then we move from there, okay? Pay attention. As Jesus was walking along the shore of Lake Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew. They were fishermen and were casting their nets into the lake. Jesus said to them, come with me. I'll teach you how to bring in people instead of fish. At once the two brothers dropped their nets and went with him. Jesus walked on and soon saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat mending their nets. At once Jesus asked them to come with him. They left their father in the boat with the hired workers and went with him. They left their father in the boat and went with him. Wow, that must be terrible for the father. Okay, let us review quickly what we do. Now, remember we said last two Sundays that um, the baptism of Jesus ushers him into his ministry. Yeah, and for him to work, he needed disciples. Okay, so Jesus went about in Galilee preaching that the kingdom of heaven was at hand. He was preaching that the kingdom of God was at hand. He said to the people, repent and believe the good news. Okay? And while he was passing by, he saw Andrew and his brother Peter fishing. He called them to come. He was going to make them fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets, they left the boat, and they dropped everything and followed Jesus. Hmm... And also, Jesus called two other brothers. Can you remember their names? James and John. They were with their father, Zebedee, in the boat. And Jesus called them, come, follow me. And immediately, they left their father and followed Jesus. And Jesus told them he was going to make them fishes of men. Wow, that's the summary of the reading. These men left everything they were doing. They left their family, they left their work, okay? They were fishermen, so they fish. That was their vocation. That was what they do to earn a living. But they left these and they followed Jesus. It isn't an easy decision, isn't it? But they didn't even think at all. They didn't think about it. They didn't ask questions. They didn't give excuses. They just dropped everything and they followed Jesus. Hmm, amazing, right? Yes. Um, we are blessed. We don't have to drop anything or leave our family to follow. We still have our moms and dad and our siblings, uh, money, food and all. But Jesus is calling us to drop something that is not right and follow him. All right, let's go to question. We'll continue from there, okay? Okay, what's my first question? Are we ready? Where did Jesus go to preach the good news? Where? Galilee. Okay, question two. What did he preach? What did Jesus preach? 
Repent and believe the good news. Remember he said the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven was at hand. So everybody should repent and believe the good news. And it was from there he started calling his disciples. Okay, question three. What were Andrew and Simon or Peter doing when Jesus called them? What were they doing? They were fishing because they were fishermen. Okay, all right. Did they respond to the call? Did they respond to Jesus' call? Yes, they did. Hmm. What did Jesus tell them? What did Jesus tell them? Jesus said, come, follow me. And they followed. Hmm. Who else was called? After Jesus called Andrew and Peter, who else did he call? He called James and John. They were with their father Zebedee. But Jesus called the two of them and immediately they dropped everything and they followed Jesus. Now what can you drop to follow Jesus? Hmm? What can you stop? What um, wrong you usually do should you stop to follow Jesus? It could be limiting the TV cartoons you watch, the TV shows. The too many times you spend on the TV watching movies, it could be that, okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't watch at all, but um, if you watch on the average, say, four hours, you could limit it to two hours or one hour, and then use the other hours to either study the Word of God or try to do something nice, help your mom, help your dad, be helpers in school, reach out to other children who don't have as much as you have. You could tell mom and dad, I want to share my toys with someone, a friend in school, a friend in the church, in your Sunday school. You know, these are ways to reach out and concentrate too much on watching TVs or playing games, okay? This way we drop certain things so we could follow Jesus and do the things he wants us to do. Is that okay? In my parish, actually, some children come um, to church on Saturday mornings, every morning for morning mass, so they could help to keep the church premises clean. You could also do this. It's worth it, all right? Okay, now let's take our memory verse. Our memory verse is from Mark chapter 1. Verse 17, and what does it say? Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. That is, you're going to win people into my kingdom. That's what Jesus was telling the disciples he called, his first disciples, for them to come because he's going to use them to preach to people and bring them to himself. And Jesus wants us to do the same, to reach out to people, okay, through our words, our actions, and our deeds. Okay? All right. Now let us pray. Dear Father, I want to follow you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow. It's the end of today's lesson with Mrs. Aboro. Don't forget that Jesus loves you dearly and he cares for you. Till next Sunday is bye from me. Follow Jesus. Stay blessed.